Hello everyone. In this video, we will go over FortiGate web filtering feature, looking at various options available within web security profile, and later jump into the live demo. For this demo, web filtering profile is set to flow based mode. As shown, FortiGuard web filtering security service offers 90 plus web categories, which enable security admins to implement fine grained control over the web traffic. It also offers three predefined filters to simplify configuration process along with an option to configure custom filters as per organizational requirements. FortiGate web filter profile also enables security admins to allow specific user groups to override certain block categories after authentication. Under static URL filter, we can block invalid URLs, create URL filter based on simple matching, regular expressions, or wildcards with action set to block, allow, or monitor. We can also enable near real time blocking of malicious URLs discovered by 4D Sandbox. And lastly, we can create content filter to block banned words on popular search engines, including YouTube. These banned words can be based on wildcards or regular expressions with support for multiple languages. Once the web filter security profile is configured as per organizational requirement, we can apply it to the security policy to start filtering the web traffic. Now let's move on to a desktop that sits behind the 4D gate and see web filtering in action. First use case is related to a malicious website where a user unknowingly tries to access a malicious website. As you can notice, the website is even using a wrong SSL certificate which is issued to some other domain. And if we still choose to proceed to the website, web filter security profile blocked the access to the website and presented the user with the block notification message stating that the website is malicious. Now let's take a look at how FortiGate protect against phishing attacks. When we try to access malicious URL or website, FortiGate's near real time web filtering powered by FortiGuard threat intelligence blocks the connection attempt and present user with the response page stating the reason for the block. Now let's move on to our last use case related to content filtering. This feature is supported for all popular search engines, but in this demo, we will check the behavior on YouTube. As you can see, the YouTube is accessible and video is playing. But if I try to search for a configured band word, FortiGate will block the search activity on YouTube as well. Moving back to FortiGate, let's take a look at web filtering logs. Since user identification is enabled on FortiGate via multiple sources, including FortiNet single sign on, FortiGate Forti authenticator, and via the FortiGate client telemetry, all the traffic and threat logs on the FortiGate will include a corresponding username. As per logs, the desktop we used in the demo belongs to a user named mhall. The logs also include blocked web activity for malicious and phishing categories along with content filter block on YouTube. We can get further details on each of the malicious activity by selecting the log and clicking the details button on the top right corner. This concludes the demo. Thank you for watching.